Hey guys, King of Charmanders here. Today I bring to you a video on how Capcom slash Niantic is preparing us for Elder Dragons. This video analyzes the pathway to the strongest monsters in Monster Hunter. And it's already been confirmed via the Capcom Highlights Day 2 stream that Kushala will be coming to Monster Hunter now. Here's the video again, just for those of you that haven't seen it. And that monster cry is Kushala. And also it's kind of if you played the Monster Hunter series, you know that giant whirlwind of destruction is Kushala Deora ready to come and destroy us. Or you and your party. More on that later. But this has confirmed that Kushala would be the first Elder Dragon coming to Monster Hunter now. But how do you say, well, for those who've been playing for a while, you already know this. For those of you that are relatively new, there's actually a trend with Monster Hunter now. So Monster Hunter now has a trend of helping players prepare for upcoming monsters using events. Here's an example. Legiana Weekend Event, November 17th to the 19th on 2023, was there to prepare us for the Roar of the Desert Diablos, November 20th to the 26th, 2023. This is because Black Diablos is weak to ice as well as Diablos. So, having that event actually prepared us to build weapons and armor needed for a batch of monsters and or another event. In this case, again, Black Diablos and Diablos are weak to ice. So, having Legiana event before then allowed us to prepare for the Roar of the Desert Diablos event. Alright, now that we have knowledge of that history, we're going to backtrack all the way to Fulminations in the Frost. This was the December major update, and it featured Hunt-a-thons for the first time. Sadly, we did not have global back then, but you know what? I am, I and many of you are grateful for the new update. More on that later. But Zenogre is weak to the ice element. Fulminations of the Frost featured Barrieth, which is of the ice element. And during this time, an event was released that featured an increase of both Legiana and Barrieth in the wild, as they both carry ice elemental weapons and attack armor. So, Zenogre is going to be put on ice. It's supposed to be frozen. And of course, December means winter, so winter means ice, which was a perfect time for them to introduce all of these new things for Zenogre and Fulminations in the Frost. And all of this leads to the Vernal Invader. Two of the new Vernal Invader monsters, Sisiaku and Odo Garen, are both weak to Ice Element. And, ironically, the new subspecies, Coral Puke Puke, is also weak to the Ice Element. This means Barrieth and Legiana were designed for a purpose, to prepare us for this brand new March Major update. And, all of this was a setup for the Thunder Elemental event, and I'll explain that in a second. And like I mentioned, here's how it prepared us for the Thunder Elemental event. So Coral Puke Puke prepared you for Toby Kodachi, which is weak to the water element. Coral Puke Puke weapons are of the water, and they are the strongest water weapons in the game as of right now. So Toby Kodachi, beware. You are going to get destroyed with the new Coral Puke Puke weapons, and you're probably using them right now to roast a lot of Toby Kodachi. In addition, Fulminations in the Frost prepared you for Sisiaku and Zenogre, which are both weak to the ice element. So, Ice Ice Baby, if you know that song, we can be friends, but man, that's an old song. Anyways, yes, you're going to put these two monsters on ice. And that's how I mentioned that all of this was ironically a ploy to set us up for this event that's happening right now. And this event that's happening right now is in preparation for the Devil Joe event, which is weak to the Thunder Element. And this leads us to what the Devil Joe event prepares us for. You probably guessed it, but the Devil Joe event likely prepares us for Kushala Deora. According to the Monster Hunter World Iceborne entry, Kushala is most weak to Thunder and Dragon. This means the Thunder Elemental event and the Devil Joe event are all a setup to help us gear up for Kushala. However, the thing about these two events is that Thunder is actually more effective against Kushala Dior versus Dragon. However, I don't know if it's going to be like how they did it with Devil Joe, where Devil Joe is actually 150% weak to its elemental weaknesses. So they might just do that with Kushala Dior if you're going to use Thunder and Dragon. Speaking of Thunder, there are even more events to prepare us for Kushala, as Zenogre is making its first debut in the field for the first time. 
I've been crying about it. A lot have been crying about it. And we need Zinogre out on the map so we can just blast it to oblivion. And Zinogre is getting its own exclusive event known as Bolt from the Wilds Zinogre. I wonder, does that have a reference to Monster Hunter Wilds? I can't wait to make content on that game, but that's for another time. And to make it even better, there is even another ice event happening again to help you prepare for Zinogre out in the field. Another event will feature Legiana at an increased rate. It also brings back Barriath in Huntathons, and it will be permanent in Huntathons after this event. In closing, we should be prepared for Kushala when it comes out. And based on a lot of research I've done, I can tell you that we might be closer to Elder Dragons than you think. Unfortunately, due to being a Capcom creator, I can't give you any spoilers and I can only draw off of data from the mainline games. Which isn't a bad thing. While I do give up something that I was able to do before, it I get a glimpse into the future ahead of time before y'all do on some things that are coming to the game. So that's really great because it allows me to plan for content and allow to, me to make content that will help you guys out in the future. In addition, Elder Dragons would fill a much needed content void that's lacking in Monster Hunter now. Although we have Huntathon matchmaking now, the game is still heavily lacking in content that made the main series games so much fun. However, due to Niantic Japan and Capcom pushing out updates like monster tracking and selling materials for Zenny relatively quickly, and it was really unexpected that that feedback was actually going to be received and pushed out as early as it was, I have good faith that they are doing their best to produce quality content we are looking forward to in the future. With that being said, please do me a huge favor, like, subscribe, and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Good luck on your grinds, and I will see y'all on the next video.